Welcome back to City Cloud Basic Training, the series that will teach you to master the basics of City Cloud OpenStack. Today, we're going to take a look at load balancing. Load balancing is a great tool to use when creating high availability services. It can be used to manage a high number of visitors to your web page or to create a load balance solution that span over several data centers, to name a few. Navigate to Network and Load Balancer in the menu. As for both servers and volumes, load balancers are also created and stored in any of the available data centers. Click Create Load Balancer. Start off by giving your load balancer a name and choose which data center to store it in. Choose your protocol and port and then which algorithm to use. The default setting is round robin, which means that requests to this load balancer will be sent to the connected servers in sequential order. The first request is sent to server 1, the second to server 2, and so on, over and over again. The least connections algorithm will, as the name suggests, send the next request to the server which has the least connections. Your load balancer can be a part of any of the internal networks that you've created, and you can assign any internal IP as you wish. Session persistence can be great to use if you are using sessions on whatever it is you are load balancing. It can be used to make sure that a request that is affected by sessions is always sent to the same server to avoid inconsistencies. The last step is to choose whether or not your load balancer is going to have an external IP or not. Click Create Load Balancer when you're done. When the load balancer has been created, we need to add some members to it. All servers that are located in the same data center as the load balancer itself will show up in the list to the left. Just drag and drop the servers you wish to use to the members list on the right. You can also add any IP address in the bottom field, and this comes in handy if you want to build a load balance solution that span over several data centers. What you probably don't want to do is to send requests to a server that isn't responding correctly, and the health monitor allow you to automate this process. Just activate the health monitor and tell it what response to expect when monitoring the members list. If any of the servers in the list fail to report back, it will be skipped when requests are distributed among the connected servers. Thank you for joining the City Cloud Basic Training Program. We hope that you learned something new today. Make sure to check out our other videos and don't forget to post your questions in the comments below.